Hey, it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome, here today in the Circus Maximus with the Palatine Hill behind me to give you an update on the coronavirus here in Italy and specifically here in Rome. We are on lockdown, we are living in the city, and I wanted to give you an idea of what it is like for those of us who live here. A few days ago, I was gonna make a video to show you that everything in Rome here was functioning normally, that sites were open, that people were here. That quickly changed, things shut down, the museums, the sites. And as of yesterday, the Italian government has decreed that the entire country of Italy is a red zone, meaning a kind of a lockdown. What does this mean? This does not mean that we are living under martial law. This does not mean we are not allowed to leave our houses at all. In fact, I'm standing here filming to you because it's legal for me to do so and it is okay. Why? Because I'm here alone. I'm actually with Alessandro, but we are not near anybody. Uh, one of the most important things about being outside at all or in any establishment is to keep a one meter or three feet distance between people, certainly people that are not in your immediate family. And as you can see all around me, there are people here in the Circus Maximus, We've got people enjoying the sunshine, people taking walks, people out with their kids, people getting exercise, people walking their dogs. These things are all allowed under this decree. What is not allowed? Well, what is not allowed right now is travel between cities and between regions unless you have to for work. And in that case, you need a declaration. I don't think this is going to apply to many of you, so I'm not going to really go over that too much, but that's pretty much the, the limitation as far as travel goes. Now, traveling into and out of the country, if you're already in Italy, if you're from another country, you will be allowed to leave and return to your home country. If you're not here and you need to come back home to Italy, you will be allowed to come back home if this is your home, if this is your domicile, if you have residency here in Italy, you will be allowed to come back home. So other than not being allowed to go between cities and between regions, what else is not allowed? Well, it's not allowed to gather in big groups. So again, I'm here with Alessandro. We're here together at the Circus Maximus making this video for you. Absolutely, guys. And um, stunning how like now my um, fellow citizen, they're reacting to this, you know, panic, of course. It was a panic and it was a despair the first uh, week, especially. We didn't know what to do, how to do it. And then, of course, with the guidelines, they were like in a, in a fog. Uh, nowadays, it's day two from the decree. I can certainly say we just uh, try to get customized to these new rules for our own sake and for the people. Uh, but it's refreshing to see, you know, like guys, you know, like, you know, just kicking a ball right now and family with toddlers. Uh, people walking the dogs, it's refreshing and reassuring. And it's a beautiful city, of course, because we have the privilege, do not forget, I never forget to say, we have the privilege to love where we live, which is Rome in this case. So gathering in large groups is not allowed. And by the same token, this is one reason that gyms have closed, uh, soccer stadiums, there are no soccer games right now. And as of the decree of yesterday, Restaurants can be open from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. But <laughs> Italians being as resilient as they are, so many of the restaurants here in Rome and across Italy, I've been reading, they're offering free delivery. So you'll be able to get restaurant food at home if you want. They're trying to get through this just like everybody else. And so obviously because of this decree, as I've said, sites and museums, archeological sites, they're all closed. As you probably have either experienced yourself or heard all tours, have been canceled. There really is not the opportunity to come here and be a normal tourist. If you're already in Rome and you're here as a tourist during this moment, I just had friends here and we went around Rome. Um, we went around the center. It's not off limits. You can walk. Again, you should keep your distance from other people. And obviously, hand washing and covering your mouth when you sneeze, things like this that have always been common sense, you just should follow them more rigorously now. I personally 
wash my hands before and after I use the bathroom. I wash my hands before and after I eat. I wash my hands the minute I walk in the house, after I've been outside touching things. These are common sense things that I think we can all do anytime. Hey there, this is Eleonora from Casa Mia Tours, uh, waving to you from sunny Rome. Um, we want you to know that this is the situation with the coronavirus. And yes, we are in lockdown in the whole of Italy, but this is how we're coping with it. By spending a few hours out in the sunshine, taking the dog out for a walk. The days are getting longer, the sky is fantastic. Here I am with some beautiful laurel. I think I'm gonna steal a few leaves here and use them for my stew this evening. And just going about our day with positive, smiling attitude, knowing that everything is gonna be okay. We're gonna be here for you when you will be ready to come back to Italy, consolidate your travel plans, reschedule, whatever your decisions will be, we'll be here with open arms waiting for you. And that everything is gonna be okay. So like we say in Italy, andrà tutto bene. Ciao. Hey everybody, this is Georgette of Girl in Florence here and I just wanted to share with you that we're okay. Tutto va bene per ora. Everything's fine for now. Um, and we are listening to the new guidelines issued by the government, the restrictions, and hope that everything's back to normal soon and hope that you support Italy and all the small businesses, restaurants, and people that you love as soon as this is over. And until then, forza and coraggio from Florence. Ciao, everybody. Mountain Butorik, the Catholic traveler coming to you from Rome. As you know, most things are closed down right now, but what remains open are all the churches of Rome. So nearly 1,000 churches here in the city are staying open throughout the quarantine, as far as we know. Um, but they're open for prayer, for Eucharistic adoration, for the sacrament of confession, reconciliation. And so that is where a lot of the people in Rome will be gathering in very small quantities, of course, because that's the law right now. Um, but praying for Rome to recover and that you will soon be able to join us back here in this gorgeous city. Thank you. I'm standing here in Piazza Santa Maria in Trastevere with the beautiful Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere behind me. The church is open, as you can see. And by the way, as of today, March 10th, Vatican City is closed until April 3rd. This is because it's a different state from Italy and the Italian government has closed the border with Vatican City. This is purely as a precaution. Well, Alessandro and I are going to the grocery store. We yep. are gonna get some supplies, groceries. We are not panic stocking up on toilet paper. We just need some things for the house and nice. we're going to the grocery store, which is open. Yeah, absolutely. So no panic so far. People taking this uh, first couple of days since the decree uh, for uh, and rules to respect, uh, you know, like uh, you know everybody else. I think uh, besides the panic of the very first moment, now we are just uh, try to deal with it. Guys, the grocery store is open. We're going to do some shopping, but we're going to keep our distance from people, as the decree says. You got to keep a meter apart from people. All right, so. Here it says that everybody should use gloves. Actually, this is always the case. It's not just now, um, but now they're saying it's obligatory, which is a good thing. It's just a sanitary measure, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, here's the situation with toilet paper. There is plenty here. People are clearly stocking up, but we still have toilet paper. My fruit vendor is open. The key here is to keep a distance of one meter between people, so since there's nobody in there, I could get some fruit and vegetables here today. Now I'm here in the Villa Celi Montana Park. I do wanna say I and we are taking this thing seriously. By going outside, we are not trying to flout any decrees, any laws. I wanted to show you that we living here in Rome are living our lives normally. We are gonna be cautious. We are gonna stay inside as much as possible, but we are also gonna go out and take walks, get some exercise and fresh air, go to the grocery store, and maybe order pizza in one night. Um, this is what life is like right now, but we are okay. I also wanna say that I personally do think that these measures, while they may seem extreme, I think it's better to be safe than sorry. I think it's better that they take these measures now and try to get this thing under control so that we can come out of it faster and stronger. 
Finally, I want to thank the people who have collaborated on this video and who have helped uh, give you their perspectives as well, showing that we're all in this together and we're all looking forward to the day when we can welcome you back to Italy. So please go check out their Instagram accounts, their blogs. They are amazing people to follow as well. I can tell you that we here in Rome, we are getting through this. Rome is a resilient city. The Italians are resilient people. The city has been here for nearly 3,000 years and they have gone through so much in that time. As you've probably followed with your, if you know a little Roman history, wars, famine, uh, the Roman Empire cr crumbling to the ground, Rome is still standing and it always will. So I'm trying to keep a positive outlook. We are trying to keep a positive outlook. Those of us who live and work here, I don't need to say this, we have all been devastated by this. The Italian economy is being crushed. So we are going to be here and so happy for you to come back. We'll be ready when Italy is ready to come back. Uh, we'll be welcoming you with open arms.